Welcome to this week's Rogers McKee YouTube video. So in this week's episode, we're gonna look at four lessons we've learned from running a business. Let's go. Welcome to this week's Rogers McKee YouTube video. So last week, Rogers McKee was four years old. We've been trading since June 2020 uh, in the middle of the pandemic, and we've now reached four years old. So we thought we'd do a little bit of a video on four lessons that we've learned since setting up the business uh, and things that you can take uh, from that. Um, th this transcends business ownership. You know, if you're in a management position, some of these tactics are obviously going to be useful um, or lessons are going to be useful for you as well. Um, but more importantly, if you're running a business, uh, these are four things that we think that you need to be aware of um, that can help you grow your business or, or that you need to be aware of when running your business. So the first one um, that we're looking at, hire good people, but then more importantly, delegate. So it's taken me quite a while to do that last bit. We've absolutely hired good people. We've got some fantastic people within the business in the middle management and senior management uh, team. Um, I don't delegate anywhere near enough. That's something that I'm working on. Um, but what you need to realise is that you as the business owner can be the blockage um, of things happening. You've got to allow people to get the creative juices flowing. You've got to allow people to take ownership because if they've not got ownership of tasks, responsibilities, you're constantly looking over the shoulder. How invested are they in driving that change through, making things happen, um, growing their part of the business, their team, their division, whatever it may be? And I've constantly got this battle at the minute because I don't like delegating. I'm quite, I do believe that I'm quite good at most things um, and that's a, a, the detriment of, of the business to be fair. So I'm taking a little bit of a step back, trying to delegate more to the management team and give them the ownership, give them the um, belief that, or, or give them belief that, or, or get them to believe that I believe in them um, and they'll do a much better uh, job of what, what the tasks are they'll be on it more and they'll drive the, the growth of the business. I can't do it on my own. I accept that. I need a lot of good people around me. And like I say, we've got good people. We've got the best team now four years in than we've ever had. Um, and the management team are fantastic. They're all driven. They all want success. They've all been in recruitment a long time. I'm now in the process of delegating tasks, giving them the responsibility and hopefully watch them grow as well as individuals. Um, secondly, Clients always take longer to pay than you would think. So cash flow is absolutely vital in, in, in business. Uh, making sure that you've got the buffer in the bank, making sure that you're on top of your bad debt, making sure that you're chasing payments when it becomes late, because if you allow it to roll, um, it can be a bit of a, a, a noose around the neck of a business owner. Luckily, we're not in that position, but it has surprised me how challenging at times it can be to get clients to pay. I don't think that'll ever go away. I don't necessarily think that's the market that we're in. Um, I think that's indicative of, of, of business in general. I think people will always try and take longer to pay. They'll always try and stretch payment terms. And why wouldn't they? Th their cash flow is just as important to their business as ours is to us. So obviously if they can extend payment terms, if they can delay making payments, if they can keep the cash within the business, then obviously that's better for them as a business. So making sure that you've got great back office team um, and we're lucky that we've got that that chase the, the debts once they become overdue that constantly chasing the clients to make sure that those payments come in that's absolutely vital uh, number three you need a clear roadmap to success um, and we do this so we've got a, an eight-year plan and um, that we call in um, into question every, every managers meeting um, and to be fair how we operate that what are, what are the things that we're looking at? Um, so we're looking at year one, um, we're looking at year three, looking at year five. Um, what's the profit of, that we want the business to, to have? Million pound, two million pound, five million pound, whatever it might be. How big's the team and what does the team structure look like at those levels? Um, what offices do we want to have over that period of time? And the management then see the growth of the business over the next three to five years. They can see where, where they fit into that. They can see where they need to go with that. Um, and ultimately, um, 
they're bought into it, it enables you to sell the business to other people that you want to try and bring into the business. You can give them a clear direction of where you want to go as a business. Um, they can see in their mind's eye, if I get involved in this now, this is where I can, I can potentially progress to. So you need to have that clear roadmap. And then obviously it's about constantly reviewing it. Where are we up to on that? And we're, I would say that is one thing that we're very good at as a business. And lastly, people say it all the time. If you're on LinkedIn, if you're on Instagram and you follow anybody, any influencers, success isn't linear. Seems a little bit trite, but it is so true. I mean, we're lucky that our, our, our uh, revenue as a business has grown year on year for all four years that we've been trading. So we've not yet necessarily had that dip that no doubt will come. However, it's not been linear with everything. The team hasn't really grown in size too much over the last 12 months. We've kind of stagnated a little bit. We've lost some people um, along the way that aren't right for the business, but it has obviously hit headcount. So it isn't linear. You're never gonna start in business on day one and then follow that path to success. It is always gonna be like that. Um, and it's having the right mental attitude that when you are in a bit of a dip, you don't get down, you don't get negative, you keep going, you keep pushing through, you know the right things to do, and you make sure that you're focusing on that. So as I said, Rogers McHugh, it's four years old uh, last week. I wanted to do four lessons that we've learned from running the business. I hope you found this useful. We've had some real good um, numbers coming through on the viewership. And on the subscriber base, we've had more subscribers in the last two weeks than we've had in the last three months, which is fantastic. It's great to see that the videos are getting out to more people. However, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, if you do, please, because that is the one thing that the YouTube algorithms love and it will push the videos out to more people. And we're really trying to up our game on the content this year. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week.